Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh. In today's lecture, we're gonna cover how to print POS receipt report from Epson printer using C Sharp. And before starting this lecture, let me tell you the best thing about this lecture is the content. Because in the content, what I will gonna cover is first of all printing normal report, then alignment, then font, and then the font size of the report, and then the barcode and then QR code and the logo here you can see in this screenshot you have uh, logo is there the title is there in different font then subtitle is there in different font and size then we have you can say uh, text in the normal font then we have barcode QR and then the end of the you can say receipt there is a cut file so now uh, I will be telling you step by step how you can do it so first of all to do this you need to import one nugget package and that package is printer utility I don't know who's the author but the thing is he has created awesome thing you don't need to code much it will do mostly all the task whatever tasks are not you can say incorporated in this for that I have created the separate code so you can download this code from my website that is textifier.in so I will be showing you uh, like under the description of the video you can find the link so you can download the code from there okay now let us start now first of all I just in install this package so it referenced me one uh, like library file that is printer utility now in this printer utility if you see there will be a lot of things you know this is Bima uh, like you can say same as Epson there is some Bima and we have the Epson commands then we have enum I will tell you how to use that and if you want to design your own classes so you have this interfaces also you can make it uh, like make them as per your requirement if you want so for creating the report first thing you need to do is you need to create an object of ESCPOS Epson class so it is in the printer utility as per well uh, Epson co com uh, commands and then we have this ESCPOS and Epson now for once you create this class what this provide is it provide you a kind of a package of other classes like you have care size font size and everything so in this Epson uh, file you will be having object of all of this there will be property having all of this you can say uh, uh, class objects so you don't need to refer them externally so within this only you will be able to do that now the printing is totally different it will be the at the end of the uh, you can say page so what we need is we just need a byte array so for converting logo okay now I will come back to the logo later okay let me show you this object contain different thing like if you want to create the separator file like if you want if you are seeing this report there is a you can say dash line starting from beginning to end now this is the separator line you don't need to you can say count the characters you have to type them no for that there is a separate function separator they have made what it is supplies byte array so one thing I want to make you clear is every function and each and every part of this code will supply an byte array or byte and that is what we are using so we will be you can say having one collection of a byte array you can have a list also later you can combine so whatever so I just make it uh, this code in hurry so I haven't uh, used the best practices but the thing is it will work like uh, charm so after then I, like if you remember in my code my first thing is you can say uh, logo after the logo I have the separator and then I have a title so the title font is different so for that uh, I have this uh, basically in the byte array what I'm doing is first I'm creating this uh, you can say basic byte array then I'm there is extension method of this printer utility itself print extension dot add bytes so in this I'm adding the you can say existing bytes with the new whatever I want to add so now what I added is separator along with the whatever bytes of logo I have now in the second line I have added the width of you can say this is care size object so it has a method named double width which will supply you in byte array which will increase the width of uh, your font as we have in title so here are different you can say width available so whatever you want to go for with there is normal also it will turn back to the normal thing if you want to go with any width so I probably use this uh, 6 for the heading and then I change the font so it is not mandatory you have to change a font or not so it depends upon you so also the font size will be like uh, font names are like A, B, C, D and E and special font A and B 
Now the special font are little bit more clear if I just re for a recommendation other than that it is nothing else. Now once this these are the setting for the font then we have to do the center alignment. Now you have to be very sure when you are using these alignments. The reason is these alignments whatever you are setting it will set on the uh, printer level. So once you set the center here so for the remaining report it will print the center only. So once you print the report at the end of the report you have to turn back it to the left or right alignment whatever you are following. So that you can do. Okay let me just close this down. Okay. Now here I put the center alignment also and this alignment is also you can say part of this OVJ and alignment is a separate class there is a you can say property alignment and we have the method name center. So after than that I am adding this my title. Now one more thing whenever you are printing any line make sure you add this slash and at the end otherwise you will be jumble up with the report uh, you can say unexpected output it will be giving because uh, if this is not there it combines everything in one line so to fix that we have this one so after every con uh, you can say text line you need to add this slash and it's better now for the second subtotal uh, subtitle you see the font size is little bit less so for that what I did is I just reduce the double width to from 6 to 4 and everything is going same add bytes I am adding uh, new bytes to the existing one in each and every line once this is done I want to print back to the normal so for that I will be setting this normal uh, you can say care size so if you see every method is returning all byte array so it is nothing else just a byte array now once again the separator is there then the title invoice which is at the center of this one and then I am turning back the alignment to the left so I told you once you set to the center it will keep on keeping the center for rest of the report so you have to turn it to the left now after than that I have this invoice date name and this string out there so invoice date name is on the you can say left alignment after than that I have made this string of format here uh, as we are printing on uh, ATMM report so 64 columns are available so for that what I did is for you can say item name I have kept like this is kind of string formatting how you can format data in the, the you can say uh, string itself so uh, if you don't know you can just check it on online how to align data in string of format so you will get the idea so this is how I made it like the data will be formatted uh, under this one and after then once this is done I have to print the total and if you remember the total will come on the right side so for that I have to again set the alignment and uh, with the we can say right method now if you see everywhere what we are doing is just adding bytes to the existing one now alignment is right separator is there then I have added you can say uh, my total on the left side uh, on the right side here the total I have now after than that I have one more separator and then we have this alignment turned to the left I did it I don't know why I did it basically it doesn't work here okay let me just remove it nothing other than that okay and now again I turn my alignment to the center the reason is I want to print the barcode and the QR code so for the barcode you can have this uh, there is a method like there is a class again the property and the object that is barcode there is a method code 128 only 128 is available for if you want to uh, you can say change it to with other font then you have to come up with your own method you have to because that uh, other methods are not available in this one so it is just following code 128 and these works if you will try with your mobile scanning or the, if the barcode scanning is there so these all work and then you are supplying the the string which you want to convert in the barcode after this you have this QR code also in this in the QR code there is a print method you will need to specify the you can say content and there are other you can say size what size you want to pick so there are like different size medium grand, grand so whatever size you want to print and after then that it is the end of the line now once you end up the report now if you remember we have this alignment to the center you have to make sure at the end of the report you make it turn to the left the reason is otherwise even if after this report someone print from other uh, you can say system on the same printer it will keep on keeping the alignment center so I told you this is alignment uh, uh, like applied over the printer not on the just the report so once this is done there is a cut page method this cut page method is not in the you can say the utility uh, even if it is there I don't, didn't find it so I just coded this method it is also supplying the byte array so at the end of the this 
we are supplying the cut page so what it will do it will uh, you can say cut the page out there now for the logo thing also there is no logo uh, mechanism in this printer utility nugget so here what we have is I created my own uh, you can say this is kind of a Google copy paste thing so this is a method you just need to supply the lo uh, logo path and then it will convert into a byte array and it will return so initially what I started with is logo then the title subtitle alignment and fonts are there and at the end of the report I am aligning back to the left then cutting the page and once this is done now you have this printer utility extension print method extension method you need to supply all the bytes so it at the end I will be supplying all the bytes and this is you can say port it is specifying like you need to specify the port if you see but there is a mistake in this it just uh, even if you want to specify com1 com2 this doesn't work like this I have seen uh, even though it didn't work for me it can work for other thing but what I notice is it takes the path of the printer now the for the path of the printer let me show you you first need to go into your computer names computer you can say computer name also here you require this computer name like laptop June and whatsoever the thing is there and once this is done uh, okay then forget it so there will be like a uh, printer name so that printer name for my example I have configured in the properties so this is the printer name mm -hmm. okay printer properties this is a printer name so it will be slash slash your computer name slash slash and your the printer name if it is shared then uh, on the network also you can access so uh, in this example I have set this uh, pro uh, I have set a property name printer path and I have mentioned my printer name in it so this method will be pulling uh, like will be I will be passing this printer property so the printer path to this and passing the byte so this will you can say print my report so uh, you can see this is uh, very simple you don't need any uh, different thing to do uh, I cannot just show you how it is printing but the thing is the print will come as like this report whatever I have showed okay let me just unsave it uh, in this report whatever I have showed this is kind of a report it will print and you uh, so I think I have covered almost all the things so uh, thank you for watching the video and if you have any question you can contact me anytime this is my email id ok let me type my skype id also that is skype so that you can conspiracy you can contact me on my email id mobile number or you can say uh, skype and through website also the, for the code i told you under the description of video i will be mentioning my website code there you can download the this project running project so you can check it and this is pretty awesome and very simple library after a lot of r&d i found this and uh, arranged just a small code so that uh, we can have it okay so if you have any